I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 100% of the way to growing trees on Mars. <gasps> Did they grow anywhere? Or was it just like instantly? I get to build forests now. Also, that says insects. We get to grow animals. Hopefully it's like the fun insects like mosquitoes and wood ticks. But no, my friends, welcome back to Planet Crafter. We have fun things ahead of us today. We've pretty much unlocked all of the end game things, except for a few things, like a fusion energy cell and the tree spreader tier two. This requires 7.5 parts per million of oxygen. We have one, so I think that's a good start. We just need to get a few seeds, maybe the Orima ones, that sounds fun. And we'll grab a few LJ samples to turn those LG samples into a bacteria sample. We can turn that bacteria sample into a mutagen if we add any sulfur. And as it turns out, I don't have any sulfur. So I'll fly my space shrinker all the way over to my sulfur mine, fly up top, and then grab all of the ones that I really, really want. And maybe some of the things that are on the ground because it's kind of a mess over here. So I can take that bacteria sample, the methane cartridge, that thing back, a little bit of explosive powder, make up that mutagen, grab a quick piece of tree juice out of here, and bada bing, bada boom, we have a tree seed coming out. We'll put you in, you in, in, you in. Research. Come on, DNA manipulator. It's time to make a human. That's gonna take forever. That's okay, because I just need to collect a few different things. A little fertilizer, a little bioplastic. We need to grab a couple of these to make up another LJ sample. Grab another chunk of tree out of here, and a spare super alloy. And I believe I can build another tree farm. Let's do this quick tree farm in the water. Tree spreader. Oh, it's working. Cool. Tree spreader goes in and then we take this and we put it in the bottom. We put in a tree seed and then hopefully that thing is going to be growing some trees on shore here. Neat. That brought up my production up to 1.21 ppm and we're 0.02% of the way to having insects. Now we did have a lot of people in the last videos telling me just to deconstruct all of the things that I have like replaced like these things. And I don't really know about that. I mean, I can get rid of those. I get uranium rods and super alloy, but that's kind of like, I have a ton of it already. So I don't really know. I mean, some of these things are totally unnecessary. Like all of these really tiny solar panels here. So might as well get rid of that. I don't even know what it gives me. Just silicone. Yeah, that, that's like nothing. I remember when the tier two solar panels were like the bee's knees the bananas chipped or something. Now I just have like uncontrollable amounts of resources that I don't even care about. So I'll just turn some of those resources back into super alloys. And now the entire thing turned blue. What is going on here? Whoa, what was that? Why is there a blue asteroid strike? It'd be cool if you could like give me Osamium or something. What are you? Hey, hey, oh, it's an Osamium rocket. Interesting. I have lots of this. I don't really need any more. Is that sulfur too? Cool. This is really eerie looking. Like, you remember the initial videos when it was all red? But now it's actually growing trees and we have the sky is blue now. In fact, I'm starting to have so many things I can just shred it all. Kind of wish they gave me something back, but it's kind of satisfying. Okay, so these trees grew up kind of nicely. Look at these things. Reminds me of like undergrowth and kind of shrubland. Something I'd see in maybe like Arizona or something. That's cool. Also makes me want to grow a little bit more. So we'll get a couple more bacteria samples. And I believe I should have everything I need for two more tree spreaders, including the seeds. There was a Cinera seed and a Humilora. I'll just plant one right Right here and the other one right here because I'm lazy and I don't want to walk very far. We'll put you into there. Beautiful. And another one into here. Cool. Also, like a way long time ago in videos, you guys were telling me that I should remove the different seeds from here and then plant only the goodest of the seeds. I kind of did that. Like we have all of the golden seeds outside. 600% oxygen modifier. The seeds are growing nicely. Also makes me wonder, can I build any of these that will give oxygen multipliers further? That one does. I want like a tree spreader rocket. Ooh, we have another seed ready. So I guess we'll grow even more trees. Sure. Put that seed in there. I don't know if we built one of those yet, but that one should look kind of cool. So this is interesting. I didn't realize this whole area over here was going to start flooding too. We had a lot of comments saying that there is some sort of secret room in this big battleship. So let's see if we can find it. We'll make a quick stop right here so I don't die of lack of oxygen poisoning. I'm gonna take these because I have plans for them. Ooh, lots of good stuff there. And then we'll fly directly into the inside and by flying, I mean running. Now, I think you guys said it's over here. And then somewhere in here, I have to go upstairs. Back this way, there's the stairs. Okay, now somewhere up on the second floor, if I switch to deconstruct mode, 
Eventually, I'm gonna find where to deconstruct something. Something about this control room seems right. Maybe on the far end of it. Oh, what was that? Deconstruct. Oh, oh, check that out. We did it. I don't really want to deconstruct it, but I want to see what's in these crates. Okay, I don't really care. Oh, that's a tree seed. I do care about tree seeds. These are okay. I don't want any more beans. I'll take this. Neat. That was good. Oh, dirty McGurdy fertilizer, iridium rods. Nice. What do we get here? Oh, beautiful. A Shangra seed. I like all of that. That was good loot. You guys are the best. It's so dark outside right now, but I wanted to put a tree spreader over here by the aluminum fields because I thought that would be fun. And we have extra seeds, so we'll just put that inside of there. And that should grow it up. So this is growing so slowly. I've been at this for 36 minutes already and we have 0.09%. The mild mass is increasing a lot. The oxygen is slow, heat is slow, pressure's pretty much stopped. So I kinda wanna figure out which of the cheapest things. The drill seems fairly cheap. The uh, heater seems pretty cheap, especially since we have buttload of resources. So we'll crack some of these super alloys off and grab a few of the somnium. And we're gonna start making more heaters. And we're gonna start drilling another drill. Another tier four drill going down. Good job, destroy the environment. But we're making the environment. I'd also like to make up some more iridium rods and then we can put in another heater. Good. So much heat. Also makes me wonder if we should just deconstruct the heaters that are upstairs and then steal the iridium back from these. We could also turn this into like a living area, which is what I wanted to do originally. Okay, tier, heater two, just two pieces of iridium. That's not that much. How about these guys? Something is inside of you. Okay. I don't want to deconstruct the living compartment. I want to deconstruct the heater. There it is. Okay, we have one iridium rod. That's all right. Because if I did my brain thinking properly, I can build two more of these heaters using that iridium rods. Oh, no explosive powder. Thankfully, I have lots of it. Yay, more heat. So I'm going to go ahead and say it. I've just recognized the scale of what we're going to do next. This is gonna get insane. The terraformation here is 4.18 GTI, which is gastrointestinal in fortitude or something. But we need to get up to 578 GTI for that. That's like a hundred times more. And if I get a hundred times more, that means I have to rip apart a ton of stuff and build an entire buttload of more creatures. And by creatures, I totally mean the other things here. I currently have, looks like, eight of these. I'm gonna try to get 20. And in order to get 20, I need a lot of iridium rods, so it means I'm gonna build up some more mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go over here, press button, make an iridium rod. Cool, we have that done. We need two osmium super alloy titanium. I don't have any titanium. And I should probably just move that like a little bit closer, much like such as. And give me iridium, beautiful. Uh, give me all of your stuff and then we are gonna deconstruct that. And I'm gonna reconstruct that right over here. Oh, they don't like linking together? Interesting, whatever. I totally forgot about something else. You guys told me another secret cave that was underwater down here. So I wanna go try to find that. Maybe an underwater cave that has a dead body in it? That might be interesting. Somewhere over here, we're gonna switch over to that. It's right along this rock face somewhere. Maybe right in here? I think it's this one? Yeah, okay. Found an underwater cave. Interesting, oh, there's, the, there's something. <gasps> That's a dead thing, a dead human thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's some loot in here, yoink. And we can bring all of that stuff back into our beautiful little area, place all of our quartzes in like so, place all of our iron in like so. We have an additional iridium rod that we can use to make another mine. Starting to wonder if four is gonna be enough or if I need to make more. Cause these things, while they do produce a lot of resources, it's still a little bit hard to get the iridium. And if we're gonna make lots of rockets and other fun things, to take a lot of time and effort. I feel like I can move this one into that cave too. So now we have five tier one iridium mines going, which should provide a lot of iridium over time. And a lot of iron, unfortunately. So we'll just put that in there and crush it. So I tell you what, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's video. We got to 0.19% of insects, which is gonna be crazy to keep this going. Thinking we need to get about 20 of those going, probably 20 of those tier four mines, maybe 20 of the tree growers around here too. 
and we'll have to see what else we can find. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd also like to thank the Patreon and YouTube supporters, especially Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Beaninator, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippias, Destructo Man, Eagle Lark, Maxer, Spencer T, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M, Ral, Whiskey, Spider Sacks, Joe B, Fury Arrow, Doug Rules 2.0, Nerdy Geek, Skunk Chess, Aquarian, Link Hewitt, Bread, and Lewiski.